Trying some pupusas I've never had. This sketchy bag of cabbage and salsa. That's how you know. Look at the amount of cheese in this. <laughs> cabbage. Oh my lord. First, I got something called loroco and cheese. The guy said loroco is like a flower. This is what the loroco looks like. Oh my god, it's heavenly. Pupusas might be the most underrated food. For how unbelievably good it is, it does not get talked about enough. And lastly, chicharron, jalapeno, and cheese. Just look at that. That bite alone was like a 9.5. Oh, the jalapeno in there. Give this all a 9.2 out of 10. Get the chicharron cheese and jalapeno one. Trying the new Nashville hot chicken spot, Humble Bird. I got a medium plus melt. Mmm, this is actually really good. Overall construction of the sandwich. The chicken itself, a little thinner. The bread's great. The fries. Fries are also good. If I'm in North Hollywood and I'm craving hot chicken, I would absolutely come here. Doesn't live up to the goat, but it's still fantastic. If Howlin' is a 9.5, the melt would be a 9.1, and this would be an 8.6. Both very high scores and both very good. Mmm. There's a place in LA doing Szechuan hot chicken. Got mine hot. It's not that hot. Oh. The crunch is fantastic. Got a bite with everything in it. Some of this day bird sauce. Mmm. It tastes like cane sauce. When I got myself a tender, looks pretty girthy. It's really good and it's really, really unique. Giving day bird a 9.1 out of 10, it's outstanding. Number one new thing I tried last year were El Salvadorian pupusas. The typical setup, sketchy bag of salsa, and this beautiful cabbage. Beans, cheese, and pork. Got some of that cabbage. Daddy, chill. Hey, yo! Filling itself is so good, packed with pork. The ratio of dough to filling is perfect. Oh my god. I gave my last pupusa experience a 9.4. I would give this a 9.2. Oh my god. This guy has been asking me to come to Easy Street Burgers for over a year. Apparently, they have one of the best burgers in LA. Look at the meat lace on that. Holy shit, that is very good. Mm. This might be top 10 in LA good. The meat is cooked to perfection. It's smashed beautifully. It's a Martin's potato roll, the best bun. My only criticism is that they went a little heavy on the grilled onions. Let's try some of these crazy fries. They're basically like animal style fries. This is how good animal fries would be if the french fries at In-N-Out were actually good. Just pay attention to the amount of sauce on the fries. I would easily wait in a long ass line to get this. This is a 9.0 flat out of 10 and in my vote for top 10 burger in LA. First time trying Japanese curry. Ooh, I think you just pour some of the curry right over the chicken. My god, it just glistens. Oh, it's fantastic. Chicken, nice and delicate, beautifully crispy. Some rice dunked in the curry. The curry is spicy. It's deep. Oh my god. Mm. 8.6 out of 10. It is delicious. Mm. Trying LA style fried chicken. First, just look at how beautifully golden brown this tender is. Very girthy. There's some lemon. I'm assuming you just pour some on. Oh, this looks so good. You can tell they brine this because it's juicier than your girlfriend's. The crunch is insane. I think the honey mustard is going to be the move. Look at that. Wow. I also got myself some chicken wings. He puts a little chili crisp in the nooks and crannies. I could already tell this is going to be great. This has to be some of the juiciest fried chicken I've ever had. I would give Go Go Bird a 9.0 out of 10. Mm. First time trying Indonesian food. First, we have a beef flatbread called Martabak Telur. I hope I'm saying that right. Mm. Gentle, almost pastry-like crust with beautifully seasoned ground beef. And I want to say there's some egg in it. Next up, we have what's called my Tech Tech. Me Tech Tech. A woman behind the counter said these are like Indonesian street noodles. This is so pretty. Mmm. Put some chili on there. Look at that. Rule of thumb, if anything says cooked on the streets of XYZ, typically it's fire. Lastly, I got something called nasi bungkus. What the? This is wrapped in a banana leaf. There's a whole chicken leg. Some chicken, some rice. A whole last egg. This is insane. Meat melts in your mouth like butter. It's refreshing, but also rich at the same time. Not a single dish miss. Giving this a 9.4 out of 10. I would happily wait in a 30 minute line to have this. This dude has been telling me to come to Jaybird's Hot Chicken for months. I drove an hour to Long Beach to try this. First up, we have the chicken sandwich. 
All right, this is pretty good. The chicken's cooked beautifully, really nice and juicy. The slaw is semi non-existent, which I kind of don't mind. One of the better brioche buns I've ever had. Let's try it with some of their comeback sauce. Look at how creamy, daddy. Mm. Ah! This place automatically just went up a point. Tastes like a slightly sweeter cane sauce. Some fries dipped in sauce. Look at the amount of seasoning on the fries. And last but not least, we have an extremely girthy chicken tender. Daddy, chill. I got this extra hot. I wish I got the sandwich extra hot. This is the perfect spice level. With a new induction in the top five, this takes spot number three. Now it's Howlin' Rays, Hotville, and Jaybirds. 9.1 out of 10. Come to Long Beach and try this. First, I'm trying Tokyo style pizza. It's very reminiscent of a Neapolitan style pizza. The texture could be a little crispier, but the quality is god tier. I've said this once and I'll say it a thousand more times. The best food in the world is simple with really good quality ingredients. Mm. The sauce, I'm pretty sure this is just San Marzano tomatoes. The cheese is phenomenal. You could tell the olive oil they drizzle with is exquisite. This is up there with Pizzana for best Neapolitan style pizza in LA. 9.0 flat out of 10. First time trying mochi donuts. For those of you that know me, you know I'm not the biggest dessert guy, but these look insane. First up, we have the churro flavor. You're supposed to pop them. Oh my God. It's like biting into a slightly crispy cloud. I'm actually excited for the rest. Next up, we have strawberry. Mm. That beautiful white glaze. Daddy. Really nice, subtle strawberry flavor taro and fruity pebbles oh my god this is gonna be a very high rating now one of my highest rated desserts 9.3 out of 10 this was unbelievable trying two chinese dishes i've never had before this is a noodle dish called liang pi handmade noodles peanuts chilies and cucumbers you get this sauce mix it up oh oh my god it's actually really refreshing. Every noodle is coated with the sauce. Spicy, it's a little peanutty. I also got what's called a Chinese melt. <sighs> Eat this over the noodles in case anything drops. The pork inside of this is super fatty. The outside's nice and crispy, almost buttery. This almost feels like a really crunchy pastry. This place is called Kin West Noodle. With one of my highest ratings of the year and one of the best new things I've had, 9.4 out of 10. Come try this immediately. Some of LA's best birria, and I have a guest. Hi. It's Fredsters! Your first time having Teddy's? First time. <laughs> a little dip. Oh, look at that. Cheers some of the better beer that i've had oh yeah my favorite thing is the quesadilla i move as i open it up like this mm -hmm. have some of the salsa roja nestled in there yeah <laughs> you were right about what it's very good you've had a lot of beer though right a good amount not a, sh a crap ton but you can say shit ton shit ton <laughs> i like the spice in that salsa roja all right fretzers what's the rating i would say it's like a 9.3 9.3 yeah. i actually agree with that rating i would <laughs> give this a 9.3 if you want some of the best recipes i've seen on tiktok or instagram go follow fretzers